What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Duskers. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and further explore an empty, empty universe full of derelicts. So in the previous episode we got a new drone, we got a Gatling gun, which is pretty cool. I kind of wanted to look at that, so let's go take a look at our Gatling gun here. Now let's assume, over on this side you will note, or not, I don't really care if you brought a notepad or not, this is not a college class. Don't panic about it, I don't want you to be reaching around being like, hey, can I borrow a pencil? It's all good, but you will take note of the fact that if you wanted to put this guy in your squad, these are your drones that go on board. These are your reserve drones. You would hold down control, and then you just shift him around to put him in the party group that you wanted to. You can see that down in the bottom. I really don't need to explain a lot of this stuff, because if you read at the bottom, all the information you need in this game, they do a really, really good job. A lot of roguelikes do not do a good job of this. A lot of ASCII games and things like that, they do a really poor job of making you aware of all the different commands and whatnot. This game actually does a really, really good job of it. There's a lot of commands in this game, and it does a fantastic job just kind of like keeping track of things. We've got a Gatling gun. You know, if this is going to be a battle drone, I should probably also repair this drone. Let's go to the modifications menu real fast. It will work at zero HP, but it's probably a decent idea to fix it on up. How much scrap do I have, by the way? Enough. Let's go ahead and... I think you should get a discount for repairing full, by the way. I don't know. It just seems like a thing that you should be allowed to do. Fantastic. I love it when people text me while I'm at work. It's my favorite thing ever. Let's see here. Social life be damned. I'm entertaining the internet masses. Go away right now, please. I'll probably just add like a couple of HP. It's not really that big. I'll probably go like 60. And that seems to be all right. You can also do fun stuff like increasing their speed permanently. And you can increase their max HP as well if you wanted them to be kind of like badass and able to take a lot of damage. We'll execute that real quick and Tweaky will be at half HP. So that works out perfectly fine. Not really worried about getting them super repaired because typically if your drones are in a situation where they're getting attacked to begin with, they are probably going to die pretty horrifically and there's not going to be a whole lot you can do about it anyways. So we've got four propulsion fuel. That's a good thing because it means that we can finish off this location without getting in too much trouble. I think I'm probably going to go, what is this called? The Lady Sheila. Lady Sheila. That sounds like a song. I don't know. It sounds like a song from like the 70s. Have like a disco beat to it. Sheila. That's what it sounds like to me. I don't know. That's what I would assume it would sound like anyway. I spit all over my monitor when I did that. That is just horrific. Now there's colorful little flecks everywhere. Let's board the Lady Sheila. Yikes. We're going to board the Lady Sheila and make this thing happen. Boards the ship. One of the problems I have with my cursor always being in the way is that it defaults back to the center every time you swap a screen. Let's see here. Inconclusive. There's one infestation on the ship. The hull's integrity is good. I always prefer a hull that has integrity. I don't know. I just don't like worrying about the fact that my hull is going to betray me and like steal my girlfriend or anything like that. It'd be super awesome if it would not do that. It was a pirate vessel. Okay, so all of its logs are completely and totally corrupted right now. That means that we would actually have to find like a combo. Normally, if the logs were perfectly fine, you could just call a lumberjack in and we could fix it on up. However, you would have to find a lumberjack that specializes in eliminating blasphemy and also purifying haunted logs. Much more difficult avenue to go down. I think that for right now. So with Gatling, I want to see how this works. We'll go help Gatling. Let's see here. Arms or disarms the Gatling gun. When armed, we'll target threats in a frontal cone. Moving... Oh, so it turns her into a turret. Okay. And so let's take a look at trap real fast. It drops a trap. And trap boom. <laughs> Anyways, so it detonates... Oh, you type boom to blow up. Okay, so you could drop. You could press trap drop or you could pick up our boom. Okay, so that's perfectly fine. And then it's an explosive trap. So you would want to use that to figure out. I don't know if it would clear out an entire room, but I kind of want to play with it. We'll find out here. Let us open the gate. And then I'm going to do my best. There's too many drones right now. If I have more than three or four drones, I think sometimes they have trouble navigating around one another. So I'm only going to move one at a time for right now. Tweaky, what you got going on, Tweaky? What is that? Oh, that's an interface call. It scared me. It was red. I don't know. Red things are always hostile in video games, and it made me nervous. There's nothing inside this little room right here except for a couple of random storage and item retention devices, a.k.a. Cubes O Storage crates. Let's bring these on back. We got Haley going in. She's got tow and interface. I will probably have Haley. Is it in this room? All right, let's get her set up right next to the computer before we do anything. Can we, she use interface while the power's down? I was going to say, I'm pretty sure she can't use interface while the power's down. For Cliff, what I want you to do is I actually just have to get him right inside the door. And once I have accomplished that, I'll just type generator right there. And then Tommy Bahama, 
The most popular drone for your mama is already up inside. Here's ready. He's raring to go. He's got his Aloha shirt on. He swapped it out, though, from the last mission. The first one was getting a little bit dingy. Let's interface, shall we? And, oh, never mind. Interface disabled? It should be turned. Hold on. Is it turned on right now? Okay, the screen is blue, so it's turned on. So there's a couple of commands that you can give the interface, and you can see those listed down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Ship scan is actually really, really useful because it saves you motion detector charges. Defense allows you to turn turrets on and off with the room that's designated. And then interface list will give you this list back right here, just in case you ever wanted to see it again. We're going to go for a ship scan. No activate it. Maybe I deactivated it. I don't know. It's being odd right now. Is the interface, like, destroyed? It looks like it might be destroyed. It might be damaged. I don't think there's any way for us. That's unfortunate. That's very, very unfortunate. Let's see here. I really feel like something is going wrong right now. There. Now it's active. I don't know. Like, right here, it looked like it was activating, then disabling itself over and over again. I'm not sure if it was having boot-up problems. It couldn't clear. It just couldn't make it through its boot process. Just not giving you the beepo happiness. Let's see here. We wanted to go with ship scan. So, in R5, we've got a turret. In R2, we've got a drone. In R3, it's got some new stuff. R4 had nothing, but there's an error scanning over there anyways. And so what I'd like to do now is, let's say, motion detector on one. And so there's a threat inside that room, so what we want to do is we want to activate defense and what it'll do is you see that little turret right there went from blue to orange defense in room R5 killed one enemy and so that enemy has now been cleaned out we don't have to worry about it anymore the next thing that I would recommend is we need to open up all these doors to allow enemies to free flow into the room with the activated turret now under no circumstances should you go into the room with the activated turret my god my god do not do it it will be like pachow pachow you dead drone pachow oh and killed one more enemy and that's exactly why I did it and what I like to do is I just like to open all the doors and sit here for a couple minutes if I'm not in a video I'm gonna rush things a little bit more but I tend to just open up all the doors and leave the turret on and then I just you know take it nice and slow I think we should be good inside of D3 if we see an enemy though I will try to vacate the premises this right here these crates are in the way the collision can be hard to detect sometimes in this game because sometimes you just roll over the top of stuff and other times you don't. I think I will probably turn off the defenses. I don't know if I want to waste a motion scanner right now. Let's maybe consider briefly. Let's take Tweaky. And Tweaky, what I would like for you to do is just like hang out right here and activate your Gatling gun. We'll open up D5 just in case anything tries to come through there. And then we'll bring Tommy Bahama around, the rock star, the mad killer gatherer getting out there, making those twigs and berries count. Alright, so four, we'll go Gatling, deactivate. I don't think anything's coming. And what is that? What is that right there? It's bluish colored. It looks like it's at some kind of like electro rave thing right now, and I don't like it. It's got a phosphorescent glow, and that makes me, oh wow, it vaporized both of them. I don't know what those were, but they dead as hell now, Chief. They are dead as hell. Well, Tweaky... Let's close D10, and I'm going to have you just hang out. I don't think there's any other threats, but I'm going to have Tweaky hang out. Better safe than sorry in this game, because if you lose a couple of drones, there's got to be a joke in there. There's got to be some situation in which a person of Indian descent could work in like a sari as a type of clothing. There's got to be a way you can work that joke in better safe than sorry. There's got to be a joke. I don't know. Indian people, you would probably know more than I would about a place where you could work that into like the vernacular, like the place where you could pop off with that joke, and all of your coworkers would be like, ah, that's kind of funny, oh, yay, we're drunk and we're going to laugh. I mean, you would know better than I, so feel free to keep that one, my gift from me to you. This drone over here, its name is Aaron, and it has been, that's, an, that's a terrible name, it's got two A's in it. You guys know how I feel about extra letters that don't need to exist, tertiary letters, they annoy me. Let's go ahead and we'll go with, so if Aaron was just spelled A-R-O-N, I'd be fine with it. This guy's got a scanner and a motion detector. I don't know what the scanner does. I've never seen that particular piece of infra, uh, that little particular piece of equipment before. So maybe, hmm. Well, we can only carry a couple things right here. I can actually look. We can go help scanner. No results found for scanner. Help scan. Hmm. 
Well, maybe I gotta pick up the module first before the help console becomes available. Either way, all the doors are open, main. And so I think that... I can de-interface. I'm gonna have Haley come over here. We'll have her pick something up. I'm sure it'll be alright. I'm not sure why the console was not so happy with us right there. It was not wanting to activate, but it didn't look like it was broken to me. We'll swap this in over here. And so now that we've got the scanner... What does the scanner do? So you can scan like the room that you're in maybe? I don't know, let's play around with it now that we have a little bit of clearance here. Let's see what scan does. So it looks like it just scans the room. Help scan. Yeah, you have to have the item before it'll actually let you use the help console. It scans the drone's room for items of interest. Scans may reveal items undetected by visual analysis. Oh! Well, that could be pretty good then. That's actually a great way for you to end up with multiple loots in a room that otherwise would not have them. All right, there's the visual scan, and then we'll go scan in here as well. Oh, it did. It unclocked a whole bunch of stuff. I might have just missed those, but yeah, that worked out pretty well. It'd be worth it then for us to go back through every room, and actually, I'm going to have navigate four to... Oh, I don't know. Go to R2 or something. I don't really care where you go right now. It's all fine by me. And then we're going to need to navigate one to R7 and we'll have one take a look around while three goes and it's controlled manually get D10 all nice and activated check this room for my, anything that might be useful we got nothing in there except for a power inlet that would more than likely be useful if we were trying to activate D6 or D9 but I don't think that we are and so I'm gonna say gather all on actually I gotta go gather one all and that should just make it happen over there I hope. We'll check on it in a minute. We got a jump cell and we got propulsion fuel right there, so that's pretty cool. Is he taking care of business? Yep, he's just being a little street sweeper, isn't he? Good, that's what I like to see. Scan this room, nothing inside of here. I figure it's probably worth it then to scan every room. Just have this one come through. Yep, there it is right there. We missed two of them in here, wow. The scanner seems like it's actually gonna pay off in spades. I'm pretty excited about this module. This is something that I've never seen before, and so I'm gonna say navigate one or eight. And then I should probably have number three check this room too. And then I could say gather one all, and that should take care of it. We'll scan inside of here. We got nothing in this room. Actually, I already scanned this one, didn't I? How are you doing over there? We'll take navigate one to R4, please. And then I'm going to say navigate two, three, and four to R1. At which point, I think it's going to be time to excuse ourselves from this location. But other than that, once one gets there... Actually, I'm just going to swap into Tommy right now. Tommy Bahama, give me that good ass scrap. Always, I don't know, sometimes ass scrap, it comes in some better conditions and some worse conditions. you got to look at the name of the item. If your ass scrap is written in white, you know that's not going to be any good. But if it's written in, like, blue or orange, then you know you're good to go. Look at this little dog pile of drones over here. Cuddle pile! A cuddle pile of drones? Is that how you pluralize drones? Like a herd of drones would be a cuddle pile of drones? Sounds good to me. This room and this place are looking pretty much looted out. And so I think that what we're going to do for now is just exit on out. The apple pie, I think was the name of this one, or the Lady Sheila or something like that. Either way, it worked out pretty well for us. We got 11 scrap. We got one J fuel. We got one P fuel. We got a motion scanner, so an extra one that we can either break down for more scrap, we can barter with it, or we can put it on another unit so that we could have multiple scanners. Or multiple motion scanners anyways, and then we also got the scanner upgrade, which I think is going to be something that actually provides us with a lot of money as time goes along, so that'll be fun. Okay, back up to the system level view. We've only got one ship left here, it's the Amaterasu. The Amaterasu? I think that sounds better. Amaterasu! Sounds desserty. Mmm. I don't know, maybe I'm just thinking of Teramisu though. Is Teramisu a dessert? I think it is. I don't know, I'm not cultured! It's, we have like... Well, I can't blame it on where I live. Never mind. I'm just not cultured. It's not my fault. We're going to go over here. Our jet propulsion fuel is completely and totally out, which means we're going to have to jump after this ship, but that's okay. The first thing I wanted to do, though, is I wanted to configure a little bit in here. I think it would probably be best to have our combat drone. So there's a couple of options right here that we really sort of want to mill about. We can either have... Well... Either way, I think it's going to end up the same. But you want to have a drone that specializes in moving around the craft and just, like, picking things up. Since we have one drone here that's all about combat, I think it would be safest to give that drone 
the scan. I don't want stun. I want scanner. Hold on. I did the wrong thing. Hold on. I did something dumb, but do do do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boop, ba do do do. All right, take the scanner off, and then for you, I feel like putting it on our combat unit because I can toggle the Gatling real quick if I need to. If I see an enemy, the scanner. This character is probably going to be one of our front runners. And in fact, if I had the stealth equipment, I would use that too instead of trap. But it's fine. I mean, whatever. Let's go ahead and board the Amaterasu two. But who was the first? Because somebody's like Amaterasu, and I'm like Amaterasu two. Oh, conversational topics, you so funny. There's one infestation type inside of here. It's a Class B Barge, with a capital B for Barge, because he knows how to hold it down. It's 23 years old, and the hull integrity looks okay. Let's go ahead and board it on up. Not like a dilapidated building, though. Like a spaceship, you know. Number three, scans are inconclusive. I'm realizing that there will be no way for you to communicate back redacted but I assume it says I'll keep moving rations are low no time to double back to any of these ships to see if you've left a response redacted trading post redacted and so I assume he's saying that he's gonna go to a trading post to see if there's any new news or see if there's any news alright well this is what we got for right now it looks like the ship is getting a little bit bigger let's go ahead and start it on up shall we I'm going to tread very, very boldly into the darkness because I fear nothing and also I've played this map before, so meh. Why worry about it? We've got a power inlet over there. Let's go ahead and bring the scan ship on in. Scan it on up. We'll get some freebie scraps. I'm going to say gather one all. You should take care of that. It looks like we got a power inlet for right now, so I'm going to say navigate two R2. Oh, this is R3. Occasionally you'll have weird idiosyncrasies like that where you'll start from one end and one will be connected to three for some reason. So we'll navigate. Actually, I'll do it by hand. I should probably move one, though, first. One, get out of the way here. Back it up like a dump truck. Beep! There you go. And then we need Cliff, who mostly just sits around and, you know, touches batteries with his tongue. He's like, ah, oh, the tingly! And then he powers the whole ship up. We'll go to generator right here. There we go. And so that seems to have functionally lit up half the ship. That should allow us to get something done. I don't think our tow boat is going to be useful for right now, so Haley, just back up right there. Tow, tow, tow your boat nowhere in this hull because it's actually kind of thin, and that would be really, really, really inconvenient. Motion scanner is fine that R6 is stocked up with enemies, but we are lucky in the sense that they can't get out, so they are confined to quarters for right now. Usually a problem that only occurs at arcades. Get it? Confined to quarters? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God! The joke's so funny. Let's go down to the right. Actually, I feel kind of proud of that one. I shouldn't, but I do. Let's go ahead and look for more scrap in ya. Scrap seems to be looking pretty good. I mean, technically, I guess we could test out the Gatling gun and just kind of like see if it works. I don't know. Let's try it. I mean, if I go Gatling right here, and then I go D8, let's find out. I want to know. I want to know who are you? Pete Townsend's probably going to send me a cease and desist now. Did you kill it? Did you shoot it in the face? That was really anticlimactic. It cost four bullets. Just a bap, and just like took it out real fast. Whatever it was, apparently it was fragile. Dead as hell now, too. Scan ship. Scan ship. Doesn't want to be a band ship. Scan ship. Scan ship. Hacking in your MMOs. Let's go up in here. This all looks nice and safe. We'll scan that on up, and it looks like there's actually a defense turret over there that I would have noticed had I gone that far. There's a ship part in there, too, which is pretty cool. D12, Gatlinga! Turn that thing on real fast. And we'll go D10 and D9. You didn't get shot, did you? Okay, it made me nervous. I don't know. When it swaps my ship around, I get nervous. Or when it swaps my little dronies around, I love my little Roombas. They're my favorite. I'm going to open up D9, navigate 1R5. And then gather one all. At which point, I do wish you could queue up orders. At which point, we'll navigate one to D. I'm sorry, we'll navigate one to R4. We are going to navigate three to R5. And then we're going to leave two right where he's at. Four is watching that door to make sure that nothing happens anymore. We're going to say gather one all. It would more than likely be prudent to say navigate two to R4 now. That will deactivate that section of the grid, but it will allow us to light up the other half of the grid if we want to. It looks like we've got a disabled drone in R2. 
three, what I want you to do is tow. There's a ship upgrade right here. We can actually look at what it is if we type info. It's a remote power connector. You'll see that we're dragging it now. And so we've actually taken that module and we've ripped it off the ship. And the way that you would actually catalog this is you're going to take it back to the docking bay. You're just going to drop it off in the most adorable and cat-like fashion. I love this drone. This is by far my favorite drone in the entire group. I would sacrifice all the other drones for this one. And from there, we're going to take, let's navigate 1 to R6. Let's go ahead and say generator on 2. That'll light up. Oh, wow, the ship is a lot bigger than I thought. Okay, so we'll go. That means that there could actually be a lot more threats. Let's go gather one all. He'll grab the fuel, and then he'll grab the other stuff. I'm going to leave the towboat behind. Actually, do we have a console? Yes, indeed, we do. So let's navigate 3 to R6. And now that that's been done, with 3 and R6, I wanted to access this terminal real fast. So let's go ahead and get up on it, and we'll interface right here. The interface is not powered. Oh, it's powered by the other section of the grid. I wasn't paying attention to my overview. And this is how Splattercat gets himself killed. We found a drone named Colin who has adorable cat ears, so I will probably try and bring him along somehow. Scan in here. Nothing. An extra scrap, though. Inside of here, we will also throw together a scan. All we have is Colin, though. I suppose it's probably not that useful to waste all my Gatling charges this early on, but it's a fun module to use, so I'm going to use it anyways. Gatlinga! Open that on up. Let's go ahead and take our scanner over here. I'm going to bring him on down and try and look for threats so that we can actually... We can make this happen. Oh, never mind. He got him right there, so I think that's probably the last infection that's on the ship, maybe. Motion detector. We've got inconclusive results from R8 and R7. That means they might be shielded in some way. The nice thing for us is that we've actually got a really, really good setup for dealing with these situations. It's when you don't have a way to deal with it that this gets really, really ugly. And so let's bring... I don't know if he'll fit through there. Oh, he will. Sometimes the AI drives better than you do, too. So, for example, if you're in a room like this that has a tight corner and you can't get the collision to work, try going into this menu and typing navigation manually, and it might work that way. This actually has two docking hangers, so I'm going to navigate 3 to R2. And I think the best extraction point is going to say to dock A2. That's going to move our ship around to A2. And then tow 3. Let's open up A2. And we're going to navigate 3 to R1, which is always your ship. We're going to gather... Uh, i got to navigate with 1 out to a couple different... Okay, so... What we'll do now is I think we've pretty much cleared out the ship, and so I'm going to say navigate 1 and 4 to R1. And once that's there, I'm actually going to have Haley pull back a little bit further back in here. We should be done with her for right now. And the only ships did I, I didn't want one. I wanted two balls. I pulled the wrong ship out. All right. Well, we can make this happen. We'll say navigate 2 to R1. That should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's get down in here. I'm going to say gather all. And then I'm going to say navigate 1. Well, I could just say navigate R7 since I have him selected. And it should be nice and easy. Oh, never mind. I have to. I thought when I had him selected, I didn't have to do that. All right. We'll say navigate 1 to R7, and that'll take him all the way over there. And we'll just follow along. Look, Ma, no hands. I love games where I don't have to use my manacles in order to handle things. Bring on off to this side. There's only a couple more scrap to get, but believe me when I say it's very, very important that you stock yourself up. Oh, Tommy got confused. I'm going to do it by myself. Tommy Bahama, what are you doing, man? Let's gather all over here. A little bit of scrap, a little bit of scrap. And now, actually, to make this go faster, what we can do is we can go dock A3. It'll bring the other drones around. And the second that lands right there, we can open up A3. And now we're the hell on out of here. So let's close down the bay real fast. I got all the bots and everything. Okay. So it looks like we've got everything all nice and hooked up. We'll go ahead and say A3. We are out of here, and that's going to be the next episode of Duskers. In our overview, we got one P-Fuel. We got a little bit of scrap. So, actually, that's a lot of bit of scrap. We got 11 scrap. We survived for seven days. A drone named Colin has been added to our fleet, who has the sensor ability. We also got a ship upgrade, which is remote power. What that allows us to do is it allows us to control one generator via our ship one that we choose and so here we could have had everything in the ship all nice and powered up without having to worry about having multiple drones with a generator attachment i will see you all next time this is duskers check it out down below by the time this video goes live the game will be about a day from being released maybe so anyways i see y'all later hi do everybody